Welcome back, Mongo Fix. Well, we'll continue to, uh, you know, in our engine tear down. And so, if you remember from earlier video, a uh, link in the description and whatnot, this engine blow case seal. This the engine case itself, and then this the sump. So this seal in here, it blow, and it just leak oil like crazy all over the place. So Mongo already knew what it was gonna need. So get the Parts picked up from Ace here, that's the part number, and it come in a nice little kit. Inside there should be the bolts, because they stretch stretch torque bolts or whatnot, torque to yield. So the bolts got to be replaced, and then the seal in there. And, of course, uh, separately you get the crankshaft seal, so their part number and whatnot. And might as well get the oil filter and stuff, so yeah, right there, uh, oil filter part number. So these are the parts we're going to need for sure, but you really never know what else you're going to need till you get in there. So we'll start by draining some oil, and this has got a very fancy little oil drainer. Of course, Mongo can't remember if he drained the oil already, so we're going to find out together. And must have drained oil already. Get our fancy oil filter wrench here and take this filter off, let it drain. And as you can see, this engine pretty much just filthy. It covered in junk and debris and crap. So we're going to get this cover off and clean up the engine a bit. To do that, uh, look like Mongo ahead of the game already. Boy, Mongo did a lot on the other video. But you got to undo these four bolts to get this goofy cover off. And then you got to loosen up all these goofy case bolts, but they're a little... You know, slot in there so the case covers slide off real light, real nice. And you got to pop open the air filter. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead of that too. Wow. And pry that guy up and out of the way. And then you got to get these couple bolts out of there. Oh yeah, and then the cover pulls right off. This engine just all sorts of nasty under there. This three eighths bolt out of here. Nothing can be standard, even in recent years, right? We got a tiny 5 16th bolt right there. Spark plug wire off. Inside here, a little vacuum tube. Just plastic, so don't break it. Look at the crap built up in there. So just for reference, if you didn't know, clean engines run better than dirty engines. Dirty engines have a tendency to overheat because they can't cool very efficiently, because all of this dirt and oil and debris holds heat onto the engine. Now this side, some of the bolts are already out, but it's got this uh, some electronics here. So you gotta be careful there. There's a couple wire connectors here. So you can just unplug those. And the whole unit will come off as one. You're good, buddy, Mr. Brake Clean. Hey, there actually an engine under there. So we stand our engine up, put a little tiny line on our governor so we can be sure to put that on the right way when we're done. Should just have to loosen her up a little bit and slide right off. Go around and loosen up all our gauge bolts. These half inch. Just a light tap, tap, tap a -roo. And she slide off nice and easy. Well, let's see what's inside our new kit here. Big case seal. Bolts look like instructions. Oh, they go through a whole torque sequence. Ah, excellent. Start cleaning up all the gasket. Should come off easy since the gasket's just crumbling and falling apart. Be sure not to gouge up the surface of the aluminum. And don't cut self, you know, razor blades are sharp. Well, look like we get her cleaned up real nice there. But one of the little dowels that stay in the, the sump pan. So we want to get that back in the engine. That way the gasket will hang onto it real nice. These should just slide right out like that with a pair of pliers. Get that slid into the engine here. Now we're going to replace this seal, this the crankshaft seal. So we get our little seal puller. And she pops right out. Clean the inside of this out real good. The open spot 
with the spring, it always go towards the oil. So it go in like this. And now this seal, you can actually, there's a little ridge in there. So that seal goes down just about to the ridge, but not all the way, kind of like the other one. Bongo always like to use a piece of wood, so it push the seal in evenly. There we go, nice and even. 36 millimeter socket looked pretty good. Just on the inside, but on the strong part of the seal. That feel like it was. Bongo like to use the old high-tech gasket sealer on both sides of the gasket. Well, before we put her back together, let's take a look at what's going on in here. So for those of you who don't know, this has, engine has two cylinders. That's cylinder number one and cylinder number two. They refer to it as a V-twin because it's two cylinders and they make a V-shape. All right, here's our crankshaft. This is our crankshaft timing gear. And then you can see in here, that's the connecting rod for cylinder one and the connecting rod for cylinder two. And up here we have our camshaft timing gear. This connects to the oil pump inside the sump. And right back there you can see the camshaft lobes and the lifters that ride along the camshaft lobes. Line our gasket up. Doesn't quite sit as nice as Mongo One on those dowels. Yeah, we'll tilt the motor back a little bit. It'll rest on that 2x4 and... Now the gasket sits on there real nice. Now in this sump, right down that hole, that's where the oil pump is at. And so this little shaft will fall out when you flip her over and everything. It's got two little tabs on each side. Gotta be sure to line those up. One goes in the pump, like that. And then that side of the pump will line up inside of there on the camshaft. So the camshaft spins the oil pump. And then this little detent on the governor thing, you kind of see that little witness mark there. That's where that sits there and spins. Try to make this a little easier, we'll line up this camshaft so that that knot is about straight up and down. Then inside the sump here, we'll line this so it's just about straight up and down lined up with that hole at the top almost. Take a little engine oil and apply it to the crankshaft end here. Put a little bit on our seal. Line up our crankshaft here. Nice and easy. Hit our dowels. Little wiggle wiggle. And then it's on the seal. So just a little. Just a little tap, that helps it get over the seal real nice. And she should slide all the way into place. There we go. Now if you run into issues putting this on, or say there's just a teeny tiny little gap between the sump and the case of the engine, then that probably means that that oil pump shaft isn't quite lined up just right, or that oil pump shaft isn't fully seated in the bottom. So just don't pound on it. That little hammer's just to help get over that seal. Start threading our new bolts in. And it looks like the new bolts come with uh, just, just a dab of Loctite or something on them. These bolts have special torque pattern and they go to 325 inch pounds or 37 newton meters. Now if you don't have an inch pound torque wrench that go up there, you just divide it by the 12 and it comes out to around 27 foot pounds. And then be sure to follow the torque pattern and whatnot. You're supposed to do it to hand tight to a third. Of course, Mongo didn't do the thread chaser thing because it's an engine. If it can't take uh, no thread chaser, then it's too sensitive for Mongo. But anyways, you tighten to a third, then you tighten to two thirds, and then you go around and do the whole thing. So it's a three-step torque process. And of course Mongo didn't do that, because again, that's too sensitive of an engine. And Mongo don't have time for sensitive crybaby engines. And of course when you read the other side, you know, I tell you check for flatness, don't use metal scrapers, plastic only, and solvents. And of course Mongo didn't do that either, because again, it, sensitive engines are worthless. Still got our two little marks on the governor here, so we can slide our governor back in, or our governor bracket. Mongo real happy with that spot right there. Get our little wind trays back on. Our oil filter. Of course, don't forget to put 
Nice fresh oil all over the O-ring. Just nice coating and layer. Put a little bit of oil inside of it. Spin her on hand tight. Slide our cover on now. Put our two little screws back in here. Slide our air filter back in. Pop our cover on. What do you say we fire her up, see how she runs, and check for leaks and whatnot. So we got our little do-it-yourself fuel tank plumbed in. We got a car battery hooked up for regular power. And we got a jump box for starting. Well, she run for a little bit. We'll check for leaks here. Check our new seal on the crankshaft. Oh yeah, no leaks. That now a good running, happy little clean mower engine. Hopefully this video helped you if you ever have to replace the case seal on your V-twin uh, Briggs. If you like this video, be sure to like this video. If you like this video and other videos from Mungo Fix, be sure to subscribe. Mungo is working on all sorts of stuff. Show you how to fix case seals and crankshaft seals on these leaky engines. Mongo, thank you.